afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is John Park, and I'm from Community uh, Science Department uh, at Germany University. And today I'm going to teach exams and I'll work uh, on identifying and visualize differences uh, in view uh, for the hardware data. And this is a joint work with Stephen Downey and my advisor, Jamie So, first I'll give some introduction of the uh, Vehicle, uh, visualization on vehicle structure data and show some uh, traditional charts <coughs> and uh, our goal is to visualize differences and we have two different kind of approach to uh, one is the tractor based method and another is uh, vehicle, uh, vehicle based method and kind of draw some conclusions and talk about some future work. So uh, the traditional traffic data visualization uh, enabling interactive and intuitive data exploration and can extract uh, structure clusters, exploring movement dynamics, uh, finding significant location as such as the incident, and uh, detect the uh, anomaly. However, the tra traditional vi uh, vi visualization techniques uh, Many of them are designed for road planning for road users, and some are uh, designed for engineers, uh, mainly focus on single road and on a local region. And also, on the other hand, on the other hand uh, it is designed for traffic engineers and uh, decision makers for analyzing multiple simulation data. <coughs> So our tool can highlight differences beyond the lo uh, local traffic and help traffic engineers, exper experts to see the change in traffic flow years after a uh, bridge is built and to show the divergence of highway traffic into local into regional network after an accident and uh, can show the effort of a short-term road closure. So we have started a, a method on two, uh, two networks. One is the Arizona DSF, another is the Front DSF. And uh, we have, uh, uh, for the Arizona data, we have about 200 nodes, 25,000 vehicles, and uh, over uh, about three hours uh, simulation in real, real time. And uh, the structured data were generated by Benesco from the University of Arizona. It's an agent-based uh, realistic um, simulation tool. And uh, we have uh, multiple simulations for each data set. And one is the baseline, and others are that they have some change in the network, such as uh, short-term blockage, and add some uh, toll stations on the network. So our goal is to Visualize the differences uh, between uh, before uh, 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 between the baseline and the, the uh, change on the network. So first, I show the ground truth that uh, we have three short-term blockage on the network of a simulation two, and that location is unknown to our tool. And first, I will show some uh, traditional chart. And we will put the simulation chart uh, to baseline and uh, blockage side by side. And uh, can you try to see what's the difference of the, these two simulations? So first is, is the raw data. It's very hard to see uh, what's the difference of these two simulations. Maybe you, the only thing you can notice is that is the simulation with blockage takes longer time for all the vehicles to reach their destination. But you can say uh, where the blockage is and how uh, they will impact the, the vehicles. So uh, with the double chart, we show the volume of the true volume. So we can uh, see that the with uh, Simulation with blockage, more vehicles congested here. Maybe there is blockage here. But it still doesn't tell, uh, tell us much, much about uh, where and how the, the uh, differences are. 
Uh, similarly for one data set, uh, it's very hard to see the differences between these two simulations but with the traditional visualization techniques. And similar for the, the heat map, so maybe we can see that for simulation one, more vehicles are here, and for simulation two, more vehicles are here. It can take a long, long time to, to finish the, the, the trip. Similar for the one data set or the heat map visualization. So the challenge is that the, these traditional plots cannot tell us much about uh, where the differences are and how the differences are. So even we put them side by side to, for comparison. So uh, we use two approach to visualize and identify these differences. Uh, one is the trajectory-based method, and the other one is the vehicle-based method. We talk about the trajectory-based method first. So if two simulations are significantly different, there must exist two nodes, S and T, such that the most efficient path between S and T from these simulations are significantly different. So if we can find uh, a pair of nodes that um, they have, they are, uh, the most efficient path between them are significantly different, then we can show some difference of the uh, network. And the difference of the two trajectory or two paths is measured by their distance. So we define two, or we define two metrics to, uh, uh, to, to, to for computing the distance. One is the enclosed area. Consider the situation that from the node, from node here, we pick two different paths to the destination. So even though the, the traveling distance is very similar, that they can enclose a very large area. So we can say that they are very different. And another matrix is the uh, graph-based hostile distance. And we have two paths, tau one, tau two. The point in tau two uh, with larger distance will be shown in red. So this, this region is the, the difference. So we first use the cost of distance, try to use cost of distance to measure or to, to identify the differences. And uh, we have a, a short, shortest path from this point to that point and uh, in simulation one in red, and we pick K, the most popular path from simulation two uh, in blue. And we can see that um, there, there, there are a divergence here. So the, the vehicles in simulation two take a detour uh, in this region. And we can stack them and solidify the cost of distance we can see that uh, how the detour the vehicles in uh, simulation two take. And we also can compute uh, many two many that we pick k most popular uh, paths for each simulation and put them together uh, in raw data. So we can see that uh, the vehicles in each this, each each simulation pick different routers. And however, it's very bad if we reduce, reduce uh, k popular, most popular <coughs> path to one representative and compare to k uh, most popular using, past, using the cost of distance. So if we reduce to one to one and use the representative path, we can see that we, lo we lost a lot of information. So it just shows the difference here. However, it's very, we can see that very rich information sphere. So this driven us to think, um, use the, the other matrix to find the differences. Although it can show some difference, but it cannot tell us uh, where the difference actually are. So we use the enclosed area. We find the 10 most different paths sorted by their enclosed area. 
and here is the start node and the end node. We can see that in simulation one, the most efficient path is just in, uh, almost a straight line. However, in, in simulation two, the vehicles take a very, very long detour uh, due to the blockage here, just so we showed in the uh, in this ground truth. And use this method, we identify two uh, blockage here. Uh, we uh, identify these two blockage here. So here is an animation uh, show the, uh, the shortest path between these two nodes. And we can see, uh, let's play it. And we can see in the very beginning, the shortest paths are almost the same. However, once the blockage is identified, uh, the shortest path change a lot and enclose a very large area. So we can say that this region has a potential blockage, so we, uh, the, the traffic expert can look into that region. Uh, similarly, for this, this pair of nodes, and beginning, the, the shortest path is the same and changes a lot after the blockage is identified. And it's, notice it's a one way, one way uh, blockage. If you change the start and end node, you will not find this pattern. And here is the, uh, using the most different path between two solutions for the one day set. So we can see uh, for, for the same start and end node, in simulation two, the vehicles picks uh, uh, about not only enclose a very very large area, also have uh, almost two times of the traveling distance compared to the simulation one. So maybe something changed have changed here, so the expert can look inside look into that region. Uh, another method we another. Uh, Production based method is uh, we use is clustering, and we show the, the ship, a cluster the the the, big, uh, the path by their host host of distance, and the the thicker means more vehicles, and the bluer means uh, more vehicles from simulation one, and we can clear we see a pattern that uh, the vehicles in simulation one always choose this this kind of path not change a lot in these three, uh, these three clusters. However, uh, the red ones, that is the vehicles, cluster of the vehicles from DSM2, they have a large detour, have a detour here. So something happened, actually it's a blockage here. So it shows a very, very uh, intuitive pattern to, to look into this region. And this region are potential blockage. Uh, so this, uh, this is the same cluster method for the one data. And we can see for a normal case, we, we have a majority clusters and showing pink, which means most of the vehicles, both in this one and this two, will choose this route. And only a few will choose uh, will pick the tool. And notice that the, the width, the radius of the, the path is in a log region. So which means almost all the vehicles choose this, this uh, uh, cluster into this path. And only a few choose the detour. So uh, we also use uh, the um, vehicle-based uh, method to, to detect uh, the blockage, and we use the called node flow direction. And for for node in the network, we compute the the, the sum of the vectors. And the normal of the vector is the vehicles start from this node, go to its neighbors. And here is the sum of the vector and we use this uh, for, for each node. Since we have two simulation data, we have two uh, node flow direction and we can calculate them into these five groups and the green one is the baseline that is from the simulation one 
and the blue one is the no code version of the simulation two, and the yellow ones are almost in highway region that uh, the direction of both simulation is uh, uh, almost the same since they are both they have only one neighbor, it's one way, and the red ones that is what we interested in that is the uh, potential blockage since there is n there has no flow in simulation two. And we can see using this method, we can identify uh, these two blockage here. There's so many blockages here. And uh, we, we we are not all, only able to de uh, detect the, the blockage here, but we all, we can see that the vehicles try tries to detour earlier in the local region. So the blockage ha is here, happened here, so we can see vehicles try to uh, detour earlier. And we also can show the divergence, divergence of the vehicles. You know, here it's almost uh, 180 degrees. So the, the, the vehicles from symmetry one and symmetry two choose opposite directions to the snow. And here is an animation that shows how the blockage are identified. At the very beginning, it's the, the blockage doesn't happen here. However, it uh, uh, was identified after 30, min 30 minutes. And you can show, you can see that the, the vehicles in local region diverge, divergence in the local region. So, to, so we, uh, we have implemented about 33 different parts in our tool that can provide a basic and intuitive, intuitive for a uh, faster glance of the uh, directed data. And we can highlight the differences that can help happy to expert look into the look into the interesting uh, area more easily. And we propose several methods to identify the potential blockages and show the traffic divergence in the tool. In the future, we want to uh, define new matrices to measure the difference on two paths, to identify more, kind, more kinds of uh, differences, and uh, we want to uh, deal with big data, uh, city scale of data. And the things, uh, so, some of our method is, uh, is pretty slow, so we need to think about how uh, they can work on larger data. So, thank you. So, questions or general? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you would just prompt it to describe what is the best technique to validate, uh, even on a small scale, what would how you go about that? Uh, you mean evaluation? Uh, the, uh, the evaluation of the divergence that is proposed mathematically versus what is actual divergence. Uh, uh, we we haven't uh, think about that, so uh, we are not expert in this region. We are uh, we are from the science region, so we just uh, uh, use some method to show the divergence, and we can provide this data to the expert that maybe we can look into that. So maybe we'll open it up questions for any of the panelists um, that spoke this afternoon. Are you smelling the reception or something? <laughs> 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 My bottle's open. <laughs>